Now, before I show you this, I need you to understand that it's Men's Mental Health Month. I have a really sweet, soft spot for people who take themselves out and delete themselves. I have myself have done it. I have had a best friend who did it, and I have lost my cousin and a lot of people because of this. Please understand. I understand how you feel. Please understand you are not alone. Please understand you as a man are worthy, and you. I'm proud of you. Please don't feel like the world is against you, and I'm so sorry the world is unkind to you. Let me read you this, you guys. So it says, heartbreaking story 11 year old child committed suicide on his mother's birthday as a birthday gift to his mother he left a letter saying on today's special day i want you to be the happiest parent ever you always tell me every day that happiness left your life the day i was born you told me my dad left because of me so today i want to change things i want you to be very happy and live as i never existed oh my god you told me you'd never look at me with love but i always loved you and admired you Oh my God, as the best mom on earth. I'm so sorry, you guys. I hope one day you will think of me. I hope in heaven you will finally hold me and kiss me. The best gift I could ever give you is leaving your life as you've always told me you wished I was bo never born. I love you, mom. Happy birthday. Now, one thing that I want to say is a lot of women do not understand how bad their mouth is and how evil and manipulative and vindictive you guys can be. You can pour life or poison into somebody. To you, words are nothing, but to a child, words are everything. For the first eight to nine years, your child's brain is like a sponge. So as you're sitting here putting all these evil and mean things into this kid, you're installing what? Low self-esteem. You're making this kid feel worthless and unworthy of being a child. He doesn't even feel good enough to be your child. I know this is going to sound harsh, but you guys know I'm a very blunt person. Ladies, nobody forces you guys to open your legs and be a 304. I'm not saying she's a 304, but here's the thing. If you don't want kids and you know that, don't have them. If you have kids with somebody and you know this person's not going to be good for you, I suggest an abortion. I don't agree with getting one, but if you're going to do this to your child, you might as well get one. Because what's worse, having your flesh and blood, your heart walking outside, your, your, your child, and you degrade them, you're mean to them, all because you're bitter about what? Your own life? You brought this kid into this world. Write it out. I don't understand why women have kids just to bitch and complain about them. Nobody forced a peepee -pee to your head to suck it and have kids, right? So take care of them. The reason why I'm being so aggressive or passionate, whatever you want to call it, is because kids are taking their lives over things their mothers tell them. Do you know the stats on single mother household and abusive households for women? Do you know they're like in the 70s? That there's so many narcissistic and abusive mothers? Y'all always want to sit here and downplay men, but do you know there's more of a success rate for a child to be with a single father than a single mom? I know what it feels like to grow up with an awful mother. I know what it, it feels like to grow up with a mother who puts awful words into your head and how it builds insecurity. This little boy went out thinking he wasn't worth anything. This little boy at 11 years old decided to take his life because his mother couldn't even love him. Love is cost free. Hugs are free. Guys, I can tell you right now, I'm not an affectionate person. I grew up with a lot of abuse in my life and I'm not an affectionate person. But I know one thing I would not do, deprive my kid from something I never got. I would force myself to hug my kid even if I didn't want to. Why? Because kids don't know any better. Kids don't know what, hey, mommy needs spaces. They take it as you don't want them. And you know what's even more worse? If you ever grew up with a messed up parent and you go and do the same thing your parent did to you, you're just as bad. You're just as bad. I thought we were out here breaking generational curses, y'all. Please don't sit here as women if you have this mentality and talk about the men that are growing up in society when you gremlins are the ones raising them. I would never want my child to ever feel like I'm against him. I don't want my son to ever feel like he doesn't have a safe space with me. Do you know why? Because if I treat my son bad, if I am mean to him, if I hurt him, if I abuse him, he's going to go out and do the same thing to a other girl, somebody else's daughter. And it's a domino effect. Ladies, please. I know you hate men. I know you can't stand men. But I really feel like you guys should understand that 
the stuff you regurgitate online and the stuff y'all do to men, there's little boys out here watching this. There's little kids who hear this and are young men growing up. So to you, you might not care, but there's little kids out here that see the things that women do, see the things that women say, and it makes them feel some type of way. Kids internalize things and they shouldn't be doing that because they're children. We protect them. We're supposed to save the children. Please do not have kids if you're going to do this. Please don't have kids if you're going to put your kid down. Kids need love. Kids need reassurance. Kids need a parent who's involved in their life at all times. If that's too hard for you, get rid of the kid. I don't believe in this stuff, but I don't believe in women doing this either. Words hurt, you guys. And you as women, I'm going to say this right now. If you cannot pour life into your husband, into your children, get therapy, please. If it's easy for you to get off that game, you damn kids, and yell at your man, get therapy. If you can scream and yell, but you can't say, hey, baby, I'm proud of you. I love you. Good job. You're the best. Wow, you're the coolest. If you can't say any of those things, please seek help. Please seek help before you make your kid feel like he's not good enough. What is the point of having kids if you're going to if you're going to be their biggest enemy and they just they just started out in this world? Kids don't comprehend this stuff, you guys. Kids don't understand why somebody doesn't love them. Kids don't understand how come they're not good enough. On behalf of it being Men's Mental Health Month, ladies, please if you even care an ounce about your son, or if you even care an ounce about your partner, if you have ever felt hurt inside, if you've ever felt worthless or anything like that, and you know how that feels, don't do it to other people, especially the people that are closest to you, okay? If you have a good man in your corner who takes care of you, please do something for him for Men's Mental Health Month. If you have a son and he looks up to you, take him out somewhere, take him on a mother and daughter, uh, son date. You know what I mean? Dress up with him. Do something nice with him. Kids are simple, man. Kids look at you like they're your whole world. You're, they're all they know. You know what I mean? Why can't we just implement good things into people that matter, especially your own family? I couldn't imagine being this mean to my kid for my kid not wanting to be here, y'all. Sorry, you guys, but this stuff bothers me because could you imagine what this kid went through at 11 years old before he decided he was going to take his shit out? I, where was the mom, dude? How do you not know your kids? Where was the mom? Like these videos bother me. These these posts bother me. Please love the people around you guys. Life is short and you never know how long you're going to be with somebody. And guess what? You know, it's one thing I've started doing as I've gotten older. I care about how I impact people's lives. I never want to meet somebody or I never want somebody to be like, damn, Taylor's evil. Damn, Taylor's a mom. I don't want that. I want people to be like, wow, Taylor really helped me. Taylor was super kind. Why do you want to be that person that nobody likes? And then you wonder why your kids are not close to you. Do you want to be the mother that your kids never visit? Do you want to be the mother that your kids never want to be around and don't even like you? And then you wonder why you're alone in the future? Who wants to be a wife that their husband despises them? Who wants to have a family where they're miserable? You guys, a lot of us grew up with that. Why are we repeating the cycles? Tell your husband you love him. Tell your son you love him. Hug your family. There's some people out here who don't even get a chance to have that. Do you know how many women have lost their sons? Do you know how many women lost their kids to cancer? Don't even get to see their kids? Do you know how many people get taken away from their kids? And y'all have them and you're letting them do this? And when I say let, yes, I say let. Because you are a cause and effect to this. And you are not paying attention to your child. There are signs always. Guys, this is sad. I hope you guys can take some information from this. And I hope that this helps you become a better person. I hope that you seek therapy. I hope that if you do feel like you want to unalive yourself, if you're a young man watching this, please reach out. Please reach out. You guys, you're not alone. You're not dumb. You're not worthless. In everything that you think you are, I promise you, you are not. Please don't let nobody make you feel like crap, especially if you have a mother who is like this. I'm so sorry you got brought into this world and you were already hated. I am so sorry.